Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Today I have a requested video for you all and I've had some requests to show off different parts of my collection and one that was specifically mentioned was Marc Jacobs. So this is going to be quite a long video. I'm not going to talk too much about the scents. I might mention if some of them are my favorites but I have so many. I don't even know how many I have from Marc Jacobs and I know there's four more that I want to add into this list which I'll talk about when I get close to them. But we're going to start with Daisy Dream. So this is the original Daisy Dream. I do have the 3.4 ounce in this one so it is the larger size and this is a fairly nice scent. It's not my favorite. I don't reach for it too much but since I do collect Marc Jacobs and it's it's part of my collection anyway. The next one that I have is Daisy Dream Forever. It is the blue one. This one is quite a bit smaller. This is the 1.7 ounce. So all of the other ones that I have are 1.7. So I do have Forever, which is still available, I believe, but the other ones are limited edition. So I have Daisy Dream blush which was from 2016. I really liked the blush line. I think they did a really good job with all of the ones that they created in 2016. In 2017 they did another limited edition and it was the Kiss collection. So this is Daisy Dream Kiss. This one smells nice as well. Not quite as good as blush but this is probably my second favorite of the Daisy Dream scents. The next one in this set is Daisy Dream Twinkle which was the 2018 limited edition and it is it looks very much like the other ones. The one that I am missing is this year's limited edition the 2019 Daisy Dream Sunshine. I do not own that one. It is on my list. It's probably going to be one of the next fragrances that I purchase, but that is one that I am missing and planning to purchase. Next is a newer scent. This one came out in 2018. It is Daisy Love, and this one smells super good. I really like this one. This is giving a run for giving the other Marc Jacobs scents a run for their money for sure. So I have just the original one. This is a 1.7 ounce perfume. And then I do have the limited edition version of it, which is the 20 for 2019. It is Daisy Love Sunshine. And every year he seems to add more limited editions that are only available for a limited time. And the one that is missing from this set is another one that I'm planning to purchase. It is the newest scent that he's created, and it is the Oh So Sweet by Daisy Love. And that one smells super good. I smelled it in store, and I was like, oh my gosh. That is definitely something that is on my radar to get. This one is discontinued, unfortunately. It is Mod Noir by Marc Jacobs, and I had to get it because it was just... I really liked the bottle. It is different than any of the other Marc Jacobs bottles that I have. This one's much more streamlined and subtle. The other ones are pretty out there all, all together. Next in my collection, oh, I forgot to say what size that one. This one is, I believe, a 1.7, yes, 1.7 ounce. The next one that I have is also a 1.7 ounce, and this is Dot, and it is unfortunately a little dusty. It's hard to dust these. I need to dust my perfumes a little bit more often. But I got this one because the bottle was absolutely just darling. Marc Jacobs, half the reason I purchase them is the bottles because sometimes the only reason I buy them is the bottles because they're just absolutely darling. This is not a scent that I reach for usually. And it's usually put in the back because it's so big. It takes more space up than I always have, than I, I don't always have enough space for it in the forefront of my collection. Same with, the, with this one. This is Honey, which is just darling with the little bees on it. I love the bottles of this, this collection. And I have used a little bit of this one. This is a 3.4 ounce, so this is a fairly large size. And I did get this with a lotion as well, so I do have the lotion version of it as well. 
The other one that I have in this collection is Violet, and it is a limited edition version of Honey, but a violet color. It does have kind of an incandescent bottle to it. And the last one in this collection is one that, that I am on in search of, and it is no longer available as the discontinued scent, but there is Pink Honey by Marc Jacobs as well. And that is one that I've been really trying to search for. And I need to just pull the trigger and buy it off of eBay, unfortunately. There are some full size unopened ones there, which is where I'm probably gonna get it. And it's kind of, I don't like buying from eBay, but when it's something like this that I collect the actual bottles of to complete my collection, I will if there's no other option. So that is the next one in the set that I am planning to purchase. Like I said, I am trying to go through these fairly quickly. I did just do a quick count and I have 31 fragrances from Marc Jacobs. So I don't wanna spend, if I spend a minute on this, it would be a 30 minute video. So I'm going as fast as possible. Next up is Daisy Oh So Fresh. And this is the original one. I really do like this set. I need to use it more. As you can tell, a lot of these I have not used a lot, but I do have a fairly large perfume collection. I have 30 Marc Jacobs and the other one that I collect all of them is Juicy Couture. So look for that one going soon. The next one is also Daisy Oh So Fresh. There, these next ones are all oh so fresh. This was a limited edition in 2012. It is the oh so fresh sunshine. Not to be confused with this year's oh so fresh sunshine. So that's been a little hard to distinguish in my collection. This is a really nice scent. I do love the bottle. And that one my mom purchased for me because I had wanted the regular Daisy Sunshine but she thought this one was a better value because it is a bigger size. These limited edition are all 2.5 ounces. And then the original one that I have is a three point, no, it's a 4.25. So it is a fairly large perfume. The next one in this collection is Daisy Oh So Fresh Delight. This was the Delight one. And this was in 2015, I believe. Let's see. 2014. Sorry, I had to think. They did take a slight break between Sunshine and Delight, but they've been very punctual since then. And 2015, they did Sorbet, and this one is lovely as well. This is not one, I don't reach for the Oh So Fresh as much as I should. They do go usually in the back because they can peek out over the tops of the regular daisies. So that is Sorbet. The next one, once again, is my favorite from this. I have used quite a bit, actually. You can tell that there's a good amount gone. This is Blush. I loved Blush. I think they did just a fantastic job. I have to smell this one. Mm, it smells so lovely. I loved, Blush was probably my favorite, and this was 2016. I, I just, I loved Blush. Kiss was pretty good, too, which is the next one in this collection but I just liked blush a little bit more, but Kiss was very pretty in 2017. Of course, in 2018 was Twinkle, like I mentioned with the Daisy Dream. This was probably my least favorite of the limited editions this year. The 2018 year was just not my favorite by any means. So that's the next one. The final one in this is the Daisy Oh So Fresh Sunshine, which is in the box, because I just, barely got it uh, a week or two ago and I have not had a time to put it out in my collection and find a space for it so it's staying in its box. It also has not been in the 30 and 30 so there will be review a review of this coming probably sometime in the fall because I am taking a slight break for my 30 and 30 for now because well, one, I don't have another 30 cents to go through. And two, it's harder in the summer to um, do them because it's just, it's so hot and some of the scents just do not translate. So it's better in the spring or the fall. The next set of Marc Jacobs 
scents that I have are Decadence. This is the 1.7 ounce. It is just regular Decadence. It does have this lovely chain. It looks like a purse. It's so darling. It does have a huge tassel on it as well, which I have left in the packaging because it just makes it so much easier to store and it doesn't get dirty and it doesn't get unraveled. So it does get stored like that. And then of course, the second one in this collection was Divine Decadence. There are some limited edition versions of these, but I don't have those. I just have the original two. This one is a 3.4 ounce. This one is twice as big as the other one. It still does have the lovely chain and tassel though. I just love that it looks like a purse. And this actually looks super cute next to the Carolina Herrera Good Girl scents. I do own those too. And it's so cute to have the perfume shoe next to the perfume purse. Lola is the next scent that I own from Marc Jacobs, and this is a 1.7 ounce. There is a shorter and fatter one as well, but I have the tall skinny one. The flower on this is just gorgeous. Hopefully it's not picking up all the dust. I was trying to figure out how to dust the layers, but it's not exactly easy. I need to get some compressed air to spray some of my perfume bottles. But I do like this one, but not quite as well as the second scent. I almost dropped that perfume, oh my gosh. Which is Olola, and this is just a one ounce. It's so tiny, it makes me kind of sad because it is, these are not avail readily available anymore. So it makes me sad to think that I only have an ounce of this particular scent. It is, once again, really pretty. I love the pink to it. This is a sweeter version of Lola. And then there's one in this set that I really do want to purchase and it is once again, although I think Fragrance Not, Fragrance Net has it as well, which is Oh Lola Sun Sheer and it is a green bottle and I really want to purchase that to finish off that part of my collection. All right, and finishing off my Marc Jacobs collection is probably the most famous of all of his scents, which is Marc Jacobs Daisy. I don't have the original bottle of Daisy. I did opt to purchase the breast cancer awareness one, which was the limited edition. It is the same scent. It just has a different packaging on it. And I loved the pink flowers, and that was basically why I got it, because pink is my favorite color. So I decided to purchase that. These are all 1.7 ounces. And there are quite a few of these, just like the Daisy Oh So Fresh. In 2012, he did the Daisy Sunshine. And I need to do some more research on the Daisy line because there are several limited editions, but I need to look at the scent, the note breakdown to see if they were just different packaging like this one is, or the, the breast cancer awareness one, or if they were actually different scents that were yearly which they could have been and I just didn't realize it so Daisy Sunshine as you can see I have used quite a bit of this one I really like this scent this is probably my favorite Marc Jacobs scent of all of them that I have and I've been trying to use it sparingly because it's it's not going to last forever I might try to purchase a second hand bottle of it so that I have some more as a backup this one I do actually have a backup of. This is the 2014 version. This is Delight. So I did end up purchasing two bottles of this one. Occasionally you can find them at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. And when I did, I purchased a backup of the Delight. It does smell delightful. Then once again in 2015, they did Sorbet, which is this beautiful bottle. I really liked the see-through kind of colors that they did with the leaves in this, or the petals in this year. Then we have Blush, which once again, I've talked about how much I really enjoyed Blush. So that was the 2016, and I did like the 2017 version as well, which was Kiss. So I do have Kiss as well. One that I purchased this year, even though it was out last year, so it's newer to my collection, is Twinkle, which was the 2018 limited edition. So I haven't had much chance to use this. I've only sprayed it probably three or four times in total. And then finally, I have just the regular Daisy in Sunshine, which is the 2019 version. 
And since it is in the box, you can tell that it is one of my newer purchases. So this has not been in a 30 and 30 yet, and I have not had a chance to really spray it and use it because like I said, I just barely finished my 30 and 30. I actually finished it yesterday or no, two days ago. So I've only had a couple days to play with since, since, since then. Oh my gosh, that was a tongue twister. Anyway, those are my Marc Jacobs perfumes. Let me know what your thoughts are on my collection. Do you feel like I need to go in and fill in more Marc Jacobs scents? I know he has the more just boring bottles, I'm going to say. They're not as fanciful and beautiful. I know that there are quite a few other scents in his line. And do you think I need to get them? Do you have ones that you recommend that I do not have? What about the different limited edition bottles? Do you have any thoughts or opinions on those? I love reading your comments down below. I hope you are all having a fantastic day and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.